Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at particle systems and Godot 3.2. I'll go over what changed since Godot 3.1 first, and then I'll do a tutorial on how to use particle systems. So there are two main things that you should be aware about that have changed since Godot 3.1, and those are the lifetime randomness and direction properties, and either the CPU particles node for CPU particles or the particles material for GPU particles. Lifetime randomness property allows us to add variability to the particle's lifetime and we can find it in the time section of the particle. Allow me to showcase it. This is a trail effect in my game with the lifetime randomness on 3.0.3 and if we set it to zero, you can see that the effect is way less nice. The particles disappear in the order that they appeared in. It just doesn't look as good. The second thing you should be aware, aware of is the added direction subsection, which allows us to set the direction of particles. So whereas in Godot 3.1, we would have to change the rotation of the particle system in order to set the direction, like so. Uh, now we can just set that directly. So let's get into the tutorial. There are three particles that we'll be replicating. It's the firefly particles in the back. It's the fire particle, and it's the orbiting lights particle, which will orbit the mouse and kind of lead the fireflies way. <laughs> there are two types of particles node that you should be aware of. It's the CPU particles and the particles node. Uh, the difference between those is that the CPU particles node uses your CPU to process the particles and the particles node uses your GPU to process the par particles. And the particles node in particular is way more powerful. It allows you to process uh, a lot more particles at the same time. So generally, you would want to go with the particles 2D node. And the only reason why you would want to use um, the particle, the CPU particles node is if you're using the GOES2 render, which I generally use because I find it way less buggy for web exports in Godot, which I mainly do. We will be using the particles 2D node in this tutorial because I assume most people will be using the GLES3 renderer since it's a more powerful option for uh, desktop games. But I will show the differences between the two nodes so you can create the same particles inside a CPU particle system. So let's start with what we have with a fresh particles 2D node. In order for it to start spawning particles, we need to add a particles material. We'll save that inside a new materials folder. And we will start with the fireflies. The first thing that we want to do is get rid of the gravity because the fireflies aren't falling down. So now the, all of the nodes are spawning just in the center and not moving. The next thing we want to do is to add some velocity, say 3, a little more, 5, okay. We'll go with 5 for now. And we need to change the direction of the fireflies. In this case, we'll be affecting the spread. So they will go in all directions. Now, they are not spawning in one point. We need to change that. 
we'll go to emission shape and set that to box and set the extends of the box to 100 on the x-axis and that means it extends 100 this way and 100 this way um, and 40 on the y-axis so we have something that kind of resembles fireflies now the next thing we want to do is set the color of the fireflies and we want to go with a gradient over here because we want the fireflies to go from a low alpha to a full alpha to a low alpha so they kind of light up so we add a gradient texture and to that we add a gradient and this gradient we will set a point over here it's going to change from zero alpha pardon me from zero alpha to a yellow over here with full alpha into a yellow over here with full alpha as well and a color with a zero alpha over here right so now it kind of resembles what we had in the beginning a little more next thing we'll do is set the lifetime of the particles for a little longer so they last a little longer and we'll set some lifetime randomness as added in Godot 3.2 which is inside the process material itself time 0 0.2 Let's go with that. Nice. Why is it going from... No, it's fine. And there you have it. A firefly particle which goes in a random direction and spawns over a rectangle. If you want to have a bigger rectangle, you will set the emission shape say 200 or even I don't know 2000 we will have to increase the amount of particles it spawns in that case to 40 is that enough yeah that's enough <laughs> we will save this particle in the scenes fireflies and we will move on to the next one next up is the fire we'll actually be using two particles nodes for this one because we want the fire and the smoke to be in different particle systems set the process materials for the fire first, open that, turn off gravity, set direction to y negative 1 because it's moving up, set direction for x to 0, A velocity, initial velocity is 3, kind of starting to look a bit like it set the time the lifetime randomness inside the particles 2d node to 3 now they are going in a spread of 45 we want to decrease that a little bit so the particles go up instead of in sideways will increase the amount of particles to 50 change the emission shape to a sphere with a radius of 2 set the color of the fire 
this gradient will go from yellow at the bottom for the hottest into orange into red. Now let's make the fire disappear a little bit so it will go into red and disappear over here in the end. Now we will be adding the smoke. The smoke will have to move up as well. Direction zero, negative one. The spread will be a little less because we want the smoke to kind of um, go in one trail up as opposed to a little spread out. So we'll set the emission shape to a sphere as well and the spread will be one we will move up the smoke a little bit because we'll want it to start going from the from the top of the fire set the velocity will be slightly larger than the fire the lifetime of the smoke will be also larger than the fire and let's set the amount of particles to more set the color of the smoke we will go from a black sorry gradient texture from black to gray over here and alpha zero <laughs> let's move the smoke above the fire uh, below the fire sorry and uh, that way it kind of stays over there actually since we're using GPU particles let's go a little more wild with the fire and the smoke lifetime say six and speed it up a little more And there you have it, a fire particle system. We will save this as well. And move on to the orbiting lights system. And the material, set gravity to zero, set emission shape to sphere, with a with a scale of five and we will set the orbit velocity to one like so we want to increase the number of particles a little bit and we want to increase their lifetime <laughs> and uh, there it is Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was informative and I'll see you next time.